but there's a lot of information coming out, a lot of news. We'll get to that eventually because right now it's time for some breaking news. All right, the very first thing that I want to dive right into is I want to talk about SAG after for one second because, of course, we know the strike is done. We said we celebrate the strike is done, but, 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 COVID's done, right, everybody? Well, ask SAG, they might tell you differently because they're being sued by over a hundred people right now. Membership is coming forward and suing SAG AFTRA for what? The COVID protocols. Now, what they're saying is that these individuals went to LA Superior Court recently on Thursday and they put this claim forward saying that the guild threw them under the bus, under corporate buses, exactly as they're saying, during the, the pandemic and that they should have had a choice to work even if they didn't want to get vaccinated. And so SAG says these, these details are going to go away fine. It's going to be okay. We're going to be all right. But there's it's, it's building. More than 100 people right now have come forward to be like, hey, you forcibly imposed the vaccination requirements and mandates in exchange for the union member's ability to work, receiving an audition, maintaining management, maintaining an agent, or working with talent agencies. So they're trying to say that SAG stopped their ability to work during you know, when they came back from COVID and we'll see how it develops because I know people are freaking out about that. And a lot of people couldn't work because they didn't get vaccinated. So that was a whole thing that happened. The mandates are gone now. We're back to work though. And Deadpool rumors keep leaking. Well. Ryan Reynolds is leaking these Deadpool rumors. So is it actually real? But Ryan Reynolds is actually making fun of all the Deadpool leaks recently. And he has Mickey Mouse here now with Deadpool with a bag of money. Be like, leaks, big leaks. He also put a picture out there of, uh, of of them just holding cue cards, a picture of Urkel on set, and also a picture of the Predator talking to Ryan Reynolds, a uh, Deadpool. So this is a class action lawsuit. It just came out. So I'm guessing it's going to become that queen. It has not been said 100% yet, but just, just today this news broke that yesterday this happened. And Ryan Reynolds right now is just joking about Deadpool because people are, you know, putting rumors out there, putting leaks out there, showing him on set. So he's having fun with it. Of course, talked about that on Wednesday. And good for him. Somebody's got to have fun because people love to know about Deadpool, but people also love to know about Taylor Swift, who is now Time's Person of the Year. So she's 33 years old, and she's been recognized as Time as the Person of the Year for 2003. And it's no surprise. Again, she's been in the news so much. Thinking about her heiress tour blowing up the box office. Everyone loves him from Tay-Tay, it feels like, you know. She's out there everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, blow up the box office, Times Person of the Year, and Elon Musk came forward and said, hey, just to let you know, some risk of popularity decline could come after this. I speak from experience, LOL. He just kind of tweeted to her. So I don't know what's going to happen to Taylor Swift because I think she's pretty much on that gravy train to become big, 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 like Madonna level, if not even passing that already, because she's very popular. Someone that's not so popular, though, these days is Kevin Costner. But you know what? He's dating Jewel, so let him have a good time. Kevin Costner at 68 is dating Jewel, who's 49 years old. They were spotted looking very close. That's what TMZ said. But there, it's also came out in more places uh, over at Richard Brand's one Richard Branson's uh, Necker Island. So he split from his wife of like 19 years and he went here. It's a tennis fundraiser for Jules Inspiring Children Foundation. And they were found partying around the whole island with a lot of people, people from Emma Watson to Michael Bolton hanging out on an island, having a good time. That's a range. So yeah, good for him. Yeah, it's, it's a big range. A random. They're having fun though. They're having fun. You know what? Let him let do his thing. He might not come back to, uh, uh, to uh, Yellowstone, but you know, regardless, he's having fun. And I don't know, that show would not be the same without him, but you know what? These things, maybe they're in love, Sabrina. Maybe they're in love. Maybe, maybe they're in love. They're in love. Uh -huh. They're going to shout to the heavens. They're in love. Just like this actor, Casey Wilson, came forward, shot in the heavens that. Well, Tim Allen's not that good of a person because she was on set of the Santa Clauses and she was playing, okay, a grown up version of the character uh, from, the, from the very first movie. So she was on set recreating this scene where he's talking to her about how she's, you know, she has to have soy milk, she's allergic to dairy. And she said this interaction with him was horrible. Tim Allen, she called him such a bitch on set, which is interesting. But she uh, he portrayed adult Sarah. All right, so adult Sarah in this. And she said that as he she's throwing stuff at him and screaming because she thinks the burglar and then he walked off set went to the producer and said you gotta tell her to stop stepping on my lines and then he came back on set and then the producer had to come forward like hey you gotta stop stepping on his lines that stuff happens when you're getting the crazier acting that happens that should be just conversation that happens i don't see that being an issue but she said that he was curt with everybody and he eventually took his his cape off or i should say a santa cloak and he threw it to the ground he says santa out i'm leaving so and then he went away and she said there's a lot of people that are mad at him. But I don't know. It's, people have said shit about Tim Allen for a long time. I just think that, you know, interactions with actors happen bad at times. And then sometimes they're good. You may have caught him on an off day. Who knows? But 
She's saying it was a bad experience with him, but Tim Allen is very popular, hence why a Home Improvement sequel might be coming forward, or should I say a spinoff from the 1990s sitcom, and he's been talking about it. He's been talking about it a lot. Actors not getting along, Queen? You're right. Fucking shocking. But he's talking about doing a spinoff of the Home Improvement series. It was huge back in the 90s. <laughs> you know, all that. Hence why I probably got Santa Claus. But he's been talking to Karen Eliza. He's been talking to the kids. They want to do some kind of spinoff, kind of like Fuller House. But, you know, have the children be grown up. He's a grandparent now. And they're all doing a re home re-improvement, he's saying, maybe calling it. Something like that. But they're having fun talking about a home improvement. So if you're a fan of the series, you might be getting a spinoff, just like Fuller House. But you know what? If he's not that like, it's fine if he's not like because someone that is like we all love is Keanu Reeves and Keanu Reeves got his house broken into that's right someone broke into his house and stole one of his guns kind of a crazy thing so there was an there was an incident reported to the police like at 7 p.m. about a burglar at his house and so they rushed over there there's nobody there they went back a couple hours later one in the morning they got another report about someone breaking into his house they went back and they couldn't find anybody but they found that a gun was stolen. Keanu Reeves was not in the house. This is not the first time he's been broken into. GR and I were talking about this before the show. Uh, there was a girl one time, just like he was sleeping and she broke into his house and like sat in a chair in his library, just waited for him to wake up. Not, not creepy at all. And then she saw him and, and, and then she called 911 and said that she just wanted to meet up with him. I don't know. Another girl broke into his house, got naked, took a shower, then went swimming in his pool, skinny dipping. And then the help actually called and uh, reported like, to the police. Well, I should say his, his, his mate maitre d i don't know what you call it. like his 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 butler what do you call it? his his cleaning staff Poor alfred, I think his alfred. alfred called and reported him yeah fucking john wick well, you gotta be careful keanu reeves maybe like change your locks in that hollywood hills house i don't know uh this guy is really tempting fate he must have seen the first john <laughs> yeah he must have seen the first john wick he's like oh, man, i'm gonna see what happens not well i mean maybe he, maybe he didn't he wants to see though maybe he wants to see i don't know I but I, I wouldn't fuck with john wick either i wouldn't break into keanu reeves house but but he did and that's very disturbing just like what you know george R. R. martin is saying about the next season of house of the dragon because he's saying it's very disturbing it's very dark it's very dark he said they'll make you cry and he goes i didn't cry myself personally but it could make you know cry one of my friends did cry watching the first two episodes but he's calling it powerful emotional gut-wrenching heart rendering just you know sort of the thing i like because apparently he likes shakespeare so but yeah i love house of the dragon the first season i'm hoping the second season to be great apparently again I like the darker tones, so let's go that route. Let's get in there. Let's, let's, let's kill some bitches with some dragons and have a great time. I'm all about that. I'm also all about a Twisted Metal Season 2 coming because it is moving forward. Talking about Twisted and Gory, and they made an announcement, and this is huge. Over the week, over, over yesterday, I think it was yesterday, Anthony Mackey came forward, and he was talking about it at the Game Awards. And he said, guys, it's happening. Peacock has picked it up for a second season. We're making Twisted Metal 2. And, of course, everyone's coming back. And it really let up. The way that it was working, it really makes sense for a second one because it was leading up to the actual tournament, the actual fighting, and left you as a fan wanting more and wanting the actual Twisted Metal. Everyone's fighting each other in their cars, having a huge battle, and we're going to get it. We're going to get it for a season two on Peacock. And we might get to see also Coyote vs. Acne because the bidding war is off, everybody. Again, Warner Brothers tried to write this whole project off. 70 million bucks, they want to write the whole thing off, put it in a vault, never see it again. But, 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 but a lot of people were saying, let's see it. So they started bidding war. Netflix made a bid. Paramount's made a bid. <laughs> Amazon is mulling about it. Apparently, they want to make a bid. Um, <laughs> is this, uh, is that? Samoa Joe. Oh, Chris. <laughs> oh, geez. <laughs> well, I mean, it could be. We don't know. It is that. Chris Christie. <laughs> <laughs> GR, GR confirms it is Chris Christie. Uh, but this is happening. Coyote vs. Agony. We're probably going to see it because, again, Netflix and Paramount made a bid. Amazon might make a bid. Apple has also actually watched it. They, they're probably going to pass. But the problem is, is Amazon, or, or I should say Warner Brothers, is being very difficult about They want that 70 million bucks plus more money just to sell it off. And, and a lot of these different networks want to take it to theaters and actually have a theatrical release too in 2024. So we might get this. It might be great. Uh, what's Swiss Metal? Twisted Metal is based off the video games, Racer X. They're pretty much about like these crazy characters in Los Angeles that are like a post-apocalyptic world that are fighting each other, blow each other, and kill each other. It was on PlayStation, became popular at the very beginning. They've done multiple ones throughout the PlayStation franchise. And like this clown is a big factor too. So it's it's a very popular video game franchise and it's done very well on Peacock. So they're getting more. And we're probably gonna get Coyote vs. Agony. I hope we do, because honestly, let's see it. Let's see it. Let's see the receipts. A lot of breaking news, everybody.